as you can create great normal maps and height maps inside the Substance Painter, this takes your texture design and material design to another level. You can create great 3D logos, like logos made out of metal, logos made out of wood, or embroidery patches. So in lesson 15, we will learn how to create a logo, a 3D logo. Come here, kid. What do you want to eat for dinner? I want to eat grapes. Apple. Are you serious? Yes, because you already ate grapes. So in lesson 15, we will add some a cool logo on our television. So if you will see here, here we are going to add a logo. Okay, there was a logo before, but I removed that so we can add our own custom logo. But for that, we have to go to the texture list and we have to make sure we are in the TV front casing. Okay, once we will go here on the top of this list, we will create a new so I will add a fill layer basically okay and here we can type here logo okay and once we are done we will add now a mask to it we will go to the mask thing add it basically a black mask here okay so once we will have a black mask and we will now continue so here we will add uh, and fill from effect a fill and once we are in the fill, we'll see there is a grayscale here. And here we will drag this MNM logo, TV logo, alpha, inside here. As soon as we will do that, so you can see it is not on the right spot. Okay, it's somewhere over here. Now, one thing is, uh, is that uh, the logo itself is the same color of this. So we will not be able to see. So what I can do here is that I will just change this one, this color of my fill layer to maybe white. So now I'm able to see it. I will go back here. I will go back to my fill. And here I will again choose like last time planner. Okay. And I don't want to repeat it. So I will change my UV wrap to none, no repetition. And I will turn on my manipulator here and I will take my surface tool, drag the surface tool here. Don't worry if it is rotated, you can fix it. Then I will take my scale tool, scale it down until it reaches here. Okay, now this is fine, but I have to rotate it and make sure it is not distorted. So Something like this, I can do. Okay, and then what else I can do here is I take my planer, put some layer here. Okay, and then I can scale it a little bit more like this. Okay, and a little bit bigger, not too big. And then again, I will take the planer and move it somewhere here. Now I will turn off my manipulator because time. Uh, one more thing. Let me move it a little bit down. Okay. Now I think it's fine. I will turn off my manipulator now. So one more thing I have to make sure here is that I have to go to each of these uh, like uh, channels and change them to normal if they are not normal. So I will go to height. Okay. Uh, normal. Roughness. Normal. Metallic is normal. Uh, normal is normal. Emissive. Uh, oh, wow, what emissive is doing here? So what I can do is that I don't need emissive, so I can go in the texture set, and I can delete the emissive by clicking this minus button here. Who needs emissive right now? So uh, that's, uh, I think it's better. I can do one more thing. Check this one as well. So I'll go here. Uh, base color is fine. Height. Okay, I will keep it as it is. Uh, roughness is okay. Metal is okay. Normal is okay. Uh, they are, let me do one thing. Let me turn all of them one by one to normal. So let's start over again. Let's go to height. So instead of linear dodge, I will choose normal. And then uh, roughness, I will skip right now. Metallic is already normal. Roughness should be normal. Okay. 
uh, and the normal should be also normal. Why we are doing this? So that it won't blend with the back material. Otherwise, it will not look like a logo. It will look something really, uh, you know, uh, kind of a uh, blending with the background, which I don't want. Okay. So that's what we will do here. So let's turn this uh, flat logo into uh, like an uh, imposed uh, logo made out of uh, steel or something like that. Okay. So what I will do here is that I will give it a little bit grayish color. Okay. Something like this. Then I will go to metallic and turn the, uh, the metallic all the way to one. But I will, it can look like it is made of metal. But issue is that there is a lot of roughness. What I can do here, I can increase the roughness a bit here. Okay. So somewhere here. So once I have this, it is still flat because the height is uh, zero. So I can increase the height a uh, little bit. Okay. So I think this is fine. A little bit more. Yeah, so let me make it 0.7. Okay. Now it's kind of look like a metallic logo here, but still there is a lot we can do here. So let's make it more cooler. I will go back to here to my uh, mask here and I will add an effect here. So I will add an effect filter. So I have filter now. Now I will make this little blurred out so that it will kind of look like it is uh it have round edges instead of hard edges so i'll go to filter and i will change the blur so it kind of look uh good now so it have some kind of a uh round edges but it's too much so what i will do is that i will kind of decrease a little bit yeah this is fine now what i can do is that i can increase the levels of this blurriness so i think let's make it 0.2 uh, or 0.25 yeah 0.25 will work now i will go back to add effect and then i will add levels here now i will crunch this uh blurriness so to make it a little tighter Okay, so I will take this uh, input minimum, which is the black part, and push all over. That's too much, I think, here somewhere. And let's take this middle one a little bit outside until it looks good. I think uh, it looks good, but let's go to blur and start increasing the blur to also. Uh, no, uh, let's go to level. I think level is, I have crunched it a lot. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I think now it's fine. Okay. So, but still, we can work more. We can make it more or way more cooler. So, if you all remember, in the first lesson, I told you about anchors. What does the anchor do? It takes the effect from a layer and put it on another layer. So, I will. Go here in the effect and add an anchor. Okay. And I will call it uh says logo mask. Uh okay, so let's keep it logo mask. That's good. So let's do oh here one more layer, fill layer, and here I will call it logo uh enhance. Okay. Now, in logo enhance, I don't want to work on all of them. I will, I just only want to work on the height map because the rest of the other things I have already worked here. So I will press Alt on my keyboard and click on the height. Okay. So that's what I did here. Now I have to move this logo mask to the logo enhance. So there will be a secondary, uh, uh, you can say uh, like height map or these effect over here. So it will become more way more cooler than uh, what what it looks like now. Now inside this logo enhance uh, layer, I will increase the height a lot higher. And same thing as what I did here with the mask. I will create a mask in the logo enhance layer, black mask, and I will add a uh, fill 
here at fill from here by right clicking or clicking in the effect it's the same thing okay right click will give you all the option and effects will give you only uh, effect specific option so i will click add fill now as you all know we did this in the last like in the first of the lessons we will bring this uh, anchor point over here so it will grab all these effects and put it here it will save our life how it uh, because if i want to if uh, i can recreate this but if i want to move them ar ar around these like this logo this logo so what will happen i have to move both of them and it will be quite painful so with the help of the uh, uh, anchor point so i have to only move one object so it will it will help us a lot and uh in terms of uh, you know making thing more uh, things more procedural so i will go to fill layer over here okay and then you will see here we have the grayscale now so it's when we press grayscale so we don't have resources only we also have now anchor points if i will go to anchor points it will show me all the anchor we have only one anchor which was here so I will click over here and you can see I have another layer of the height. Okay. Okay. So another good thing is that if I will change anything here, automatically it will change here. So that's one more a good advantage of it. Now what I will do here is that I will create another effect here uh, with the filter, add filter, and I will again add a blur option. As soon as I will add the blur option and try to increase this, now look how the effect is getting way more cooler light. So this is how I'm getting a pretty nice effect over here. So let's check. Uh, I made it three, four. I think I just made it four, but you can see that, you know, it's coming out of this uh, whole area. Okay. Now what I can do here is that I can go to add a here and then I can add the levels now I will crunch this and you can see this coming backwards okay and not too much so I will keep this much here then I will play with this middle part or let's play with this okay no little bit uh, or I will keep this as I will play with the middle one so I can enhance this uh, yep this looks good and this one I'll keep it as it is. Now let's see this. Okay. Now this is fine. This is what I'm looking for. So guys, I hope you have learned about more about the anchor because in the uh, lesson, uh, the first lesson, the introduction, I just gave you uh, like a brief, uh, like a, you know, introduction to this. Uh, anchors but now we have uh, used it more practically so i hope you like this tutorial so please if whenever you like the tutorial don't forget to click the like button also leave comments if you have any questions and please subscribe to my channel keep supporting me and i really like whenever i see your lovely comments and your support it really encourages me to continue and also please don't forget to click on the bell icon and guys, take care a lot and we'll move to the lesson 16 in our next class. So by the time, take care and see you next time.